It's the 2K Sports Pregame Show. Here we are with Kenny the Jet Smith and the Big Diesel Shaquille O'Neal. Ernie Johnson, you're watching the NBA on 2K Sports. Tonight. All right, little bro, no peeking, man. I'm not looking, I swear. <laughs> all right, all right. Where we're are we going, there. though? Stop, stop, turn around. Turn around. Wait, wait right there. You better not open your eyes, man. Okay. All right, little bro, go ahead and open your eyes. <laughs> Never make that sound again. <laughs> Sorry, I just can't believe it. Is this is really for me? Yeah, man, this is from us to you. Yeah, man, you deserve it, bro. Oh, man, I couldn't afford these in a million years. You guys are the greatest. I gotta go try these on. Go for, go for it, man. It, Jack. <laughs> I love you guys, man. This is awesome. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Sound man, like we did good. Are? Yeah, we did, man. He's a good kid. Yeah, he deserves it. system every night now not like it's a West versus East contest here in the windy city of Chicago, Illinois, as the Bulls play one at home and get ready for another dose of NBA basketball on 2K Sports. Welcome, everyone, to the broadcast table. Chris Weber to my right, Greg Anthony to my left. I'm Kevin Harlan and David Aldridge on our sideline. You look at Sacramento. They put together game after game, winning five games in a row. Fantastic stretch. And, and they're playing some of the most impressive basketball we've seen all season in the NBA. It's hard to think. Of and nothing tips off a break. Well, guys, Sacramento Kings coach. Thanks, David. And it's clear the coach Yeager is a details guy, an impressive young coach. Well, as the NBA season comes into full gear, you really start to see just how big the NBA season is. Chris, would you like to keep it at 82 games, or would you like to change it, maybe bring the, the schedule and the regular season number of games down a bit? I, I like to keep it the same. I like to keep it the same because it is the same tradition that other players figured, yeah. Yeah, had to go through it. You know, uh, the Magics, the Birds. You had to play 82 games. I don't think it's too much. And technology today is much better. You can come back. You can recuperate faster. You could come back from injury easier than players before this generation came. And so I say 82 games. All fueled up and ready to go. Brought to you by Gatorade. Let's check out who's on the floor. On the floor for Sacramento. Carter out there with Zach Randolph. Then it's Labissier. And it's Fox. And it's Bogdanovich in at the two. And you got to like the vision for marketing. it. I mean, a big man who knows how to find the open man. Picked by Randolph. Fox kicks to Randolph. Shoots over Markinen. The shot's good from Randolph. More than comfortable operating from mid-range. Easy money for Randolph. There's the dish to Markinen. Passes it to DJ. From 11 feet away, nice spin off the left rim and in. DJ's got his second basket of the game. I mean, even he was surprised to be that open. Bogdanovich dishes to Carter. He kicks to Fox. Labissier with the screen for Fox. Shoots over Payne, and he comes off the screen to bury the jump shot. And how about the mid-range shooting of Fox? Definitely capable of sinking those shots with consistency. Wade gets the bucket. That's what I'm talking about. That's a perfect four for four start for them. Now they're just getting all the shots they want. 
Fox with it. He picked up 15 points in their last win against Milwaukee. Oh, don't forget his rebounding work, too. They couldn't contain him on the glass. Carter kicks to Randall. Over DJ. It's deflected. DJ is solid in the leap up for the block shots. Got to be careful with shooting when he's around. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. Up to Payne. He dishes it to Markinen. Three pointers off the mark. Not a problem when that's your first miss of the game. Strong start. Chris, we all know you were a big Pistons fan growing up, and of course, that means that you had plenty of chances to root against the Chicago Bulls. When you go back and you think about when you were young, was there one Bulls player that you loved to hate, so to speak? You know, a little secret. Uh, it, I always cheered for Detroit, but I never hated the Bulls. Isaiah and Jordan were my favorite players. That's a little bit of a cop-out along with Magic Bird, Dominique. But... Uh, no, no, no. I, I really loved uh, Artis Gilmore as well coming before, but no, I really can't say I had a player on the, on the Bulls that I didn't really like. There's the pick. Labissier with the ball. Now guarded by DJ, and the foul called on DJ. That is his first foul of the game. So for the Bulls, Miritich comes in for Quincy Pondexter, and Levine subbed in for Dwayne Wade, and then for Sacramento. Willie Cauley Stein, he's checked in for Scal Labissier. Heald comes in for Vince Carter, and it's Hill in for Fox. The struggles this quarter continue. The D's done a good job. Arkinen passes to DJ. The jump hook, he can't get it to go. Now Sacramento takes it the other way. They put up a nice win against the Bucks the last time out. Yeah, and fortunately for them, I, I thought the opponent's defense just never showed up. Oh, but I like that they attacked those weaknesses. They made them pay for a lackluster effort. Five on the clock. Randolph sets a screen per heel. Another miss, and they've really hit a rough patch here. The Bulls leading by seven. Now, DJ, he has six. Nine feet out. Cauley Stein grabs the board. The Kings have gone just two of seven so far. A little bit of a slow start for them. There's the pick. Hill kicks to Cauley Stein. Outside Bogdanovich. Randolph a screen. Shoots a three. And it's DJ with the rebound. DJ's got five rebounds tonight. Took him no time at all on that one. Miritich has got his first two points. This is as good as it gets for a first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. Hill kicks to Cauley Stein. Outside Hill. And stolen by Payne. 56 seconds left here in the opening quarter. There's the three. That's good for Miritich on the assist by DJ. Miritich has got five points so far. The Kings trail by 12. To the paint. And it's Randolph with the jam. And that was the correct play to make. George Hill a very discerning playmaker. Bulls have gotten seven of their first ten attempts to fall so far. Excellent pace to their offense. DJ with it, working on Cauley Stein, and DJ throws it down. And from the opening tip, they just crushed it. Yeah, you see it now on the scoreboard. Yeah, particularly on offense, where they've been completely in sync. Terrific first quarter. Randolph kicks to Heald. Cauley Stein up top. The feed now to Heald. Randolph sets a screen for Heald. Four on the clock. And it's DJ with the rebound. Miritich dishes to paint. No good trying to beat the buzzer. And so it's Chicago. Up by a dozen here at the end of the quarter. They've been putting on a clinic in the paint. Shots are falling with regularity, and they are pounding it down low. We've got more in store for you right after this. up going with the new group 
And the Kings will go for a different look here. Pascal Labissiere's check in for Carly Stein. Carter comes in for Garrett Temple. Bogdanovich is checked in for Buddy Heal. And it's Fox in for Hill. On the floor for Sacramento. We've got Carter. Fox is out there with Bogdanovich. Then there's Scal Labissier, and it's Randolph in at the power forward position. And Bogdanovich kicks to Carter. Feeds it to Randolph. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle, and two shots coming up. Oh, they call it old school. That's what it is when you watch Zach Randolph play the game of basketball. He's got such great skill and touch around the basket. We call it the old man game. And I tell you what, he gets it done every night. You know, as you've said, Greg, all the time, Zach Randolph can roll out of bed and get you 20. I mean, he's just a natural scorer. He can post up. He can face up. And he just stays with it. An excellent offensive rebounder. This guy just has that nuance to his game that's made him so effective. And Chris, when you played, you were known as a guy at your size who could rip and run, take it coast to coast. You look around the league now, who are some of the best big men ball handlers? Oh, you love it. If you get that board, you got to be able to take it, speed up the offense. We've seen Draymond just, just have a field day doing it with all the players on his team that can knock it down and score. Blake Griffin, uh, Anthony Davis. Uh, we've even seen Paul Millsap and Julius Randle do it a little bit. So uh, I love the fact that if you can get that board and push it, uh, it makes it easier because you don't have to look for the outlet. You can actually find that point guard, that two guard in transition and let them score and you be the facilitator. Good! But you can't let DJ get comfortable down on the block. He's superb at reading the defense and cashing in deep inside. 122 left in the first half. Shoots from eight, and it's Randolph getting it to go. Randolph's got six here in this quarter. And not a great start for him in the first, but he's quickly starting to turn it around. There's the pick. Heritage has a wide open look. Off the mark there with the three point shot. He hit one three in the first, but the well has been totally dry for him in the second. 52 seconds left to play here in the half. Here's Randolph. And he tries off the glass, but it's no good. And that's the battle they haven't been winning today. Their work on the glass has been porous, and that's got to change. And Miritic kicks to DJ. Parked down low that time, and he got the three-second clip. And the Kings making a change here. Heald's checked in. The Kings trail by 15. Here's Fox. He's got six. Labissier, the pass to Heald. It's stolen by Wade. In transition, here come the Bulls. Moving it up. Here's Markinen. Great pass to set up the lay-in. Markinen's got his first points in this one. Excellent assist there. Just led him to the perfect spot. Fox dishes to Bogdanovich. Kicks to Randolph. Plays it up off the glass. Randolph's got 12 points in the game. But doing what he does best, Randolph getting after it tonight. He can't get it to go. And so it's the Chicago Bulls riding a 15-point lead at the end of the quarter. And we'll see if they can keep up their tremendous shooting. They've been dialed in so far from the field. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thank you, Kevin. Another quick start here in this first half. What has been the key the last few games? Oh, D.A., you know, my, my teammates have done a great job of, of getting me in a rhythm early on in the game. Uh, if I get a few touches early on, you know, I feel more engaged, and it just it builds from there. I mean, this whole team does a great job of believing in one another and setting each other up for success. Well, so far, so good tonight. Thanks. Guys, back to you. All right, thank you, David. And folks, don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of quarter number three. Getting back to the action now. It's been a one-team show so far. We'll see if that changes here in the third. Without question, Zach Randolph displaying his skills today. And I'll tell you, his work on the blocks in that first half, really impressive. 
Oh, yeah, especially how he established great position and showing some nice footwork and really read how the defense was playing. They've got DJ Quincy Pondexter out there with Markinen. Then there's Dwayne Wade, and it's Payne at the one spot. That's the five out there for the Bulls. And they're passing the ball very crisply here. Well, the Kings is a team that is in desperate need to get to the postseason. Second longest playoff drop in the league. Just can't seem to build any momentum. Wade kicks to Markinen. To the middle. Nine feet out. And it's DJ missing. The Kings trail by 13. And Fox has it in the corner. Bogdanovich sets the pick for Fox. Pass to Randall. Lock at six. Shoots over Markinen. It's hauled in by the Bulls. DJ's got eight rebounds in this game. Markinen with it. Guarded now by Randolph. And it comes off the front of the rim. Oh, he gets the shot he was looking for and he just can't bury. And Bogdanovich kicks to Randolph. Randolph can't get that one to fall. Uh, off target with what's what? Pretty good look from mid-range. They set the pick. Pass to DJ. From seven. That's good on the jump shot. DJ's got 12. Well, it's crucial that DJ shoots with confidence. When he's locked in, he's very hard to slow down. Timeout called by the Kings. Well, the big story from the Bulls last offseason was trading Jim and Butler. It had to be. He had strife with the front office, uh, problems with players. Uh, both sides seem to want to move on. So for the Bulls, Bobby Portis has checked in for Markinen. Wells comes in for Dwayne Wade. And Levine subbed in for Cameron Payne. Sacramento also making some changes. Carly Stein, he's checked in for LeBissier. Temple comes in for Vince Carter. And it's Hill in for Fox. Here's Randolph. And it's off the back rim. No good. Chris, as you said, the strength of this Bulls team last season came from Wade and Butler. And, and speaking of Wade, what better a player to act as a mentor for this team? Than Fifty-one seconds left in the third. There's a screen. Fox passes to Labissier. And Carly Stein has it in the corner. And it's DJ with the rebound. DJ's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. The pass to Miritich. Second chance shot. And DJ with a layup. He's got 14. And not quite as aggressive from outside as they were in the first half. Sticking to the high percentage shots. Playing smart with the lead. And once again off the mark by Sacramento. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. DJ's got six in the quarter. Even when you get a hand up, DJ finds a way to score. What concentration. He is too tough to stop in the paint. And so it's the Chicago Bulls leading by a full 31 points at the end of the quarter. From the field, they have been outstanding. Amazing shooting. That's what has them headed to a blowout. Back right after this. Moments ago from the huddle, let's listen in on head coach Fred Hoiberg. Keep competing, guys. Keep competing. Hey, we made the extra pass all quarter. Great job. Great job. Keep that movement out there. All right, keep attacking, guys. Every time we get into the paint, something good's happening. Ah, Fred Hoiberg smelling blood. Loves what they've been able to do offensively around the rim. Yeah, I think they found a weakness in the D. I want to keep pounding on it and at least until some kind of adjustment is made by the opponent. And we're rolling here again with the fourth quarter. Might not come down to the wire, but you never know. And a look at the five for the Kings to start the fourth. We've got Fox. Koof is out there with Giles. And there's Carter. And it's Jackson in at the two spot. Carter kicks to Fox. Dishes it to Koufus. Over DJ. On target from 13 feet. Koufus has got the fourth quarter started here with a bucket for the Kings. 
last game for Chicago, it was a loss to the Nuggets. And they call an illegal screen here. He was playing flawless basketball up until that turnover. And had the right idea there in calling for the screen, but he was just slow to get to the spot and didn't get set. But yeah, as a big fella, that's the thing, Greg. You've got to be quick in setting those screens. If you get a little lazy, you get called for it. Outside Jackson. Fox kicks to Jackson. He feeds it to Carter. But three. It's good from long range. And look, the D has to be talking out there. They can't make threes that easy for them. And here are the Bulls now. Pass to Felicio. Back to Payne. Carter against Miritich. Now the dish to DJ. 14 feet away. Count that one. Chris, you've been on both sides of the coin for this. When it comes to a veteran presence in the locker room, just how important is that? Uh, both, uh, you know, when, when you were a young player getting it and maybe as an older player when you were preaching. When I was a rookie, Kevin, I needed a veteran just as much as I needed an assistant coach. They were that important to me because when you think about it, that's how you learn your routine. Wow. Uh, what to eat before a game, how many hours to eat before a game, how to recoup after a game, how to say no to your friends and family for playoff tickets because, you know, you're at home and you got to buy 75 tickets. You know, just kind of how to navigate through life. That, that veteran play can help and I think that's one thing when the game kind of got lost in years past it was because we lost that veteran presence in the locker room and so to me the veteran presence is everything you know Chris Mullen getting on me because I'm a rookie I mean I'm, I would have paid him to do that so you know it, it, it's really cool because just as much as they get on you uh, they help you and they explain the game help you out with life and everything else so it's, it's, it's like a big brother relationship oh, that's good to hear and it's Carter missing that defense is as good as a block. I mean, what looks to be a layup turns into nothing. DJ passes to Felicio. Payne kicks to DJ. And every player out there has a story about falling in love with the game. Chris, when did you fall in love with basketball? And what was it like playing basketball as a kid? Well, wow, it's so hard to remember when you first fall in love with basketball. There's so many great moments and great stories that you hear. But probably playing on the playground and seeing all the guys laughing and hearing the music and hearing the guys say check up and next game and smelling the sweat and seeing guys play physical. That's probably what it was. And then being able to play at a great gym called St. Cecilia in Detroit and then watch all the other players that played before us come in. The Isaiah's, Magic Johnson, Spencer Haywood, Terry Durant. I mean, you get to watch these guys play. Derek Coleman, Steve Smith. I could go on all day. Uh, Mark Makins, Terry Mills. Oh I could just keep going. Woo. It was so fun watching these guys play. So, to me, I fell in love with it as, as a kid. But every um, instance, every um, memory that I have made me fall in love with it that much more. How can you not fall in love with the greatest game ever played? Well said. Indicative of what we've seen tonight. One team being the aggressor, the other failing to react. You know the saying, numbers don't lie. You can see it up there on the scoreboard. And out of bounds as the Bulls gain possession. Bulls have gone three of five here in the fourth quarter. Pretty good numbers coming out of the break. Wells kicks to Levine. Holiday dishes to DJ. The NBA coaching ranks always looked at and scrutinized. Only 30 great jobs out there in the league, and yet they're on the firing line, it seems like, every season. Chris, what enables head coaches, in your opinion, to be successful? And uh, has that changed over the years? Well, I think what allows you to be successful, first of all, uh, what is your acumen for the game? Can you communicate? Can you inspire players? Are you a humble guy? And, uh, you know, I, I think those are the main things that, that you have to, you know, have as a coach. But look, players get traded all the time. Everybody's under pressure. So, you know, <laughs> just got to do your best and keep it moving. And the foul called on DJ. That's his third foul of the game. And that's just all about positioning. He gets boxed out, can't fight around it, and gets the over-the-back call. 
He's showing good hustle. I mean, a little too much hustle, though. I mean, you got to dial it down just, just a little bit. Yes, and, and, and with this one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who watched it, just a total mismatch and a true show of strength for the Bulls. You don't see this kind of a blowout often, but tonight this is a quality win across the board to deliver out uh, this kind of punishment. They definitely never changed the approach. They just kept after it and showed they were clearly the better team in just about every single category. And an important milestone for them tonight as they pick up win number 10. And so they'll take the first game of the season series, a team they'll only see twice. They're certainly happy to start it off with a win. The one player that really stands out, of course, in this one, it was a dazzling game for DJ. Well, the best work he did came on the boards. Nobody could match his intensity. His rebounding played a big role in this win. And the shot is good, dropping in off the front of the rim. And leaving nothing to chance here on this game-clenching run. Yeah, that offense shifted into high gear. I love the attack mindset. Here's Temple, guarded by Holiday. Temple, the pass to Kufus. There's a good screen. Six on the shot clock. Shot off the pick. Here's Giles, a beautiful reverse layup. Man, he's got such a great touch and feel around the basket. He made that reverse look easy. The clock now can just run out for the Bulls. Levine kicks to DJ. Shoots from 14. Misses off the left iron. And so Chicago takes this one, and by a big margin. And the outcome of this one was never in doubt. And boy, they really put in a supreme effort. Uh, it just... as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. And thank you. Another double-double for you this year. Points and rebounds. Now, is that something you're looking to do when you go out there? Well, you know, I try and come out and help the team get a win whenever I can. I, I know we're at our best when I'm, I'm cleaning up missed shots and, you know, finishing plays. And it's all about getting wins. And if a double-double is what it takes, then, you know, that's what I'll give to the team. Well, it's what it took tonight. Congrats on the win. Guys? David, thank you as always. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Chris Weber, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA on 2K Sports. So long and good night, everyone. Uh-huh, what did I say? Huh? I know. What I said. I know. Transition, transition D, D leads to easy shot. Absolutely. And you, my young friend, killed it on Transition D. Hey, offense comes from defense. It's a great game tonight, kid. Thanks, coach. Gotta love it when a 35-year-old calls you kid. <laughs> it's nothing like a win, y'all. Put us on your back all the way to the locker yeah, room, bro. You know? Hey, keep doing what you're doing. <sighs>
but I'm trying to get some new kicks, man. Yeah, man. Hey, I saw some new ones that just came out. Really? Ready to go? Yes, ma'am. He's <clears throat> talking to DJ. Oh, man. Bro, I'm so not looking forward to this. Hey, good luck, bro. So, where's the smile? Did you even break a sweat tonight? <laughs> Look, I like that we stayed aggressive until the very end. We never let up. And that's the attitude that we need to have, blow out or not. How'd you feel you played tonight? Well, I mean, we got the W, which is good. Uh, we played some great team ball. I talked to coach about things I need to personally work on. But, you know, a win's a win. You mentioned before the tough competition motivates you. Where does that come from? You know, it was probably back from my AAU days, right? I had this coach, right? And he, he was pretty skilled. I mean, he played overseas, and, you know, if the ball bounced a little differently, he could have made it to the NBA. But after practice, every day I would challenge him one-on-one. -on -one. And that man used to, like, whoop me. He would not go easy on me. But I kept working on my game every single day, and he kept pushing me. And one day, I beat him, and I never lost since. Good work today, DJ. Thanks, Anna. See you tomorrow. All right. 